Hey brother, I'm Stuart Matola, men's relationship coach, and I want to talk to you in this video about a question a lot of married men are asking themselves, and it's, why doesn't my wife want to have sex with me? And underneath that question is often the question of, do I have to shut down the lower part of my body in order to remain married to this woman? Now, more important than any other question is what to do about it. So I want you to hang out, and I'm going to give some tools and reframes in this video and if you dig this, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel to the lower right, or leave a comment below. So I want to give you up front, what are the circumstances that uh, are typically happening when uh, a man's wife is not sexually open to him? Well, see if these are true for you. She's exhausted, she's burnt out, motherhood, home, career, and now suddenly you're this other person who's making a demand on her. So she's already depleted, and then she's feeling like you're more you're going to add to that depletion. Well, I want to give you a flip on this uh, because what if you were actually a source of energy for her and you energized her? Now, what, the way we typically are approaching a sexless marriage is we're clenched, we're feeling that that sense of like we're screwed, but uh, and then we're demanding and we feel like a needy boy. So in that moment, of course, she's feeling like you're another demand. Your energy is clenched. You're actually making demands. And she's feeling this needy boy energy from you. I want to offer you instead the ability to just hold that with a looser grip and know that the trap is not so much the sexless marriage. It's feeling like you can't do anything about that sexless marriage. And I'm going to help you in this video about that. Now, first off, when you're in that place of essentially being rejected, I want to ask you, how old are you in that moment? Well, a lot of times, us guys, we go back to a younger version of ourselves. We feel rejected, we feel hopeless, and we feel danger. Now, notice, is it really danger to experience sexual rejection, or is it just discomfort? When we notice it's discomfort, we're actually we can loosen that grip and we're more free to take action. Because let's face it, sexuality happens in a place of playfulness and fun. And it's not so much of a give me, give me, I need energy. And it's more of a, hey, let's connect. Let's see if we can, uh, you know, experience some fun together. Now, the key to experiencing some fun together is actually going into yourself and realizing, asking yourself, what do I love about this woman? What do I appreciate about her? Why do I even want to have sex with her? And you got to be straight up with yourself, man. Would it suffice you to have sex with anyone who was hot or attractive? Because, of course, you need that pull. You need that eros. That eros is like that curiosity, that mystery, like, ooh, what's that about? How can you bring that up in yourself towards your wife? How can you see and appreciate her? So I'm asking you these questions because that's some place where you can actually do something about this situation and just cut to the chase because if you're not asking yourself these questions explicitly like, you know, why do I want to have sex with her? What do I find attractive about her? Um, chances are you're actually hiding from the greatest fear, which is the fear of the marriage blowing up and that this may not work. Now, when you're in your adult self, instead of that little boy scared of rejection part of yourself, you're able to tend to yourself. You're able to tend to the scared parts of yourself. And you're able to be more in your composure. And yes, courageously face that ultimate fear. It's like, is this thing going to blow up? Is this marriage going to work? And step into the room with that, knowing you can take care of yourself. And it's not just her that's the ultimate validator of you and what I see the dynamic time and time again is a guy puts uh, a wall between his heart and his partner as a way of protecting himself from that fear of rejection. So is that something you're doing? And as guys, we can isolate. And this is something I did in a 20 year marriage. And we start to cut ourselves off from other types of intimacy and connection. But at the end of the day, I'm assuming you're soulful dude, you're watching this. Sex is about connection. It's about closeness, about receiving one another. Now, if you want sex without connection just to get off, there's many options for that. But I'm assuming you want to, you know, make love to your wife. You want to honor your family. You want to keep your family together, you know, and maybe sex without connection might be fine with her for a little while just to get that going again. But at the end of the day, uh, you're going to be much more fulfilled, I assume, and that's the case for me, 
that sex with connection, it, it's just bigger, it's richer, it's, it fills the heart more. So how can you increase connection? And when you're not in that scared child place and you're in the adult place, uh, you, you're much more flexible and able to pursue connection. Now, there's one thing I love to coach guys on is like a two minute, what I call power check-in. And you could simply take that into a space of appreciations. And you're trying to boost connection. You're trying to see the beautiful woman in her. And I want to be clear. You got to get past that. You got to be willing to drop the heart armor. Because what women do often is they put an armor, a wall, between you and their pussy. Straight up. That's what happens. If she ain't feeling the heart connection, that there's going to be a wall down there. Okay? And I want to be clear. This isn't so much you playing on her turf and you playing on her rules. But connection's good for you. Intimacy is good for you. It's going to make your sex life better. So is there a way that you can cherish her and start to see what she's doing? And not so much in a transactional way so that you can just get sex, but because you're playing the long game, man. Sex is the, is the short-term game. Sex is a subset of the long game of a kick-ass relationship, a kick-ass marriage. It's a part of that. And I get it in the moment. You can be like, oh, God damn, I just... I need to get some fucking sex. But how do we work with that part of ourselves? So tone it down so we can relax and increase the connection, the touch, the intimacy. I'm going to be straight up. I used to try to touch the, the inside part of my wife's arm at times to have intimacy and touch. And she was like, I ain't having that. You ain't even getting that close to me because I know you just want sex. And yeah, that was another form of rejection. But how to keep showing up in the face knowing that that rejection, it's not danger, it's discomfort. And so what I would do with my wife is, I'd be like, you know, I felt like I had to prove myself, which sucked at times, like to do the touch without the sex. And I would do that. But then there were times too where I just said, hey, I, I'm a man, I love you, I got needs, and I want you, and you're the one I want. Don't you get that? And I want to make this a good uh, experience for you too. So that meant like, how do you approach sex? Do you just pound away and pound away and just get off? Or do you just notice her? Do you try to tend to her? Do you pay attention to her body? Again, that's about connection. And don't go to the other side where you're, you know, you're got performance anxiety that you have to get her off. So it's a middle place of tuning in. I want to increase your capacity to tune in. And when you do tune in, you realize at the end of the day, rejection is not danger. It's just discomfort. And lean into that discomfort. Step in to ask for what you want in a playful manner. Be bold. And become a source of increased energy for her. Connection, revitalization. And simply, like I mentioned before, appreciations are a great way to begin to turn that switch on. Say, baby, I want us back. I want to fight for us. And if at a certain point she's clear, she don't want to fight for us. She's like, I don't really care. Yeah, you got to face that hard question that you might have been burying. Is like, is this really going to work? And that's a huge journey that I take guys on as well to you know look at that save or leave question. But I don't. I encourage you to not polarize yourself in that question before you've explored all these other middle options, such as knowing how old you are, what part's running you, is it your adult self, your child self, and the other things I mentioned on this video. And please consider joining my Men's Relationship Tools calls, 9 a.m. Mountain Time on Tuesdays. I'll leave a link to that. And if you want help with this, I'm going to leave a link to my email below. Send me an email. I'd love to have a conversation with you. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. If it was, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to the lower right, or feel free to leave a comment below. Have an amazing day. Bye.